Hello everybody, this is Detecting Daddy from Boston, Massachusetts, and this is going to be a very unique video. Sorry, I'm holding the camera so in case it moves around a bit, that's me moving the camera. Anyways, um, this is the third part in a series of wheat pennies I bought off of eBay back in April of 2021, about a month ago or so. Um, the original video, I was not pleased with what I got and did express that in the video, and later on after I posted the video, had contacted the seller and let him know. Well. The seller got in contact with me shortly thereafter. However, in the meantime, another eBayer and YouTuber got in contact with me. I'll get back to that in just a second. As you know, in the second video of this here, the original seller actually sent me out four rolls and they were absolutely amazing. I couldn't have been more happy. I was very pleased. So, both links to those videos will be down below and you can watch parts one and two. The reason why there's a third part is because what I just mentioned, another eBayer and YouTuber got a hold of me and his name is Kevin Speaks, he has a YouTube channel, check it out and um, in eBay store as well, I'll get his link and put that down below as well for his eBay store but he asked if he could prove that not all eBay wheat penny sellers are bad and when we discussed this he said he wanted to send me a few rolls to show me that not all wheat penny rolls on eBay are junk and after talking for a bit I agreed of course, Kevin Speaks did not know I was talking to GD Coins at the same time, nor did I tell GD Coins I was talking to Kevin Speaks. That way there, this was completely separate and completely anonymous, and both appear to be doing what they believe is right, which I think is awesome. Well, Kevin said he wanted to send me four rolls, and after about a week or so, I didn't get them. I thought it was just a nice gesture and forgot about it. Well, Kevin got a hold of me and asked if I got them, and I said no. We well, said, I'll send you out another four rolls, because he really wanted to do this. It was really just, you know, out of the goodness of his heart, which I thought was awesome. Well, this Friday, I actually picked up all eight rolls, and that's what this video is going to be about. Let me show you these rolls real quick. Okay, here are the rolls right here. These came in one package. These came in another. I don't remember which ones were first. I think these might have been first, and those were second, and vice versa. I actually forgot. Um, and the reason why he sent them out and is he forgot the tracking number on the first package and you know he showed me the tracking on the second but I forgot which was which. Either way, I got them both Friday. I'm going to open up these ones first and then these ones next and we're going to see what Kevin Speaks sent me. Now this is eight rolls of wheat pennies that I got for free. Kevin Speaks sent these to me just because he wanted to prove that not all eBay wheat penny sellers are bad. So let's see what he sent me in these eight rolls which is a ton of pennies. This might be a long video. I'll try to make it as quick as possible. I'll stop jibber jabbering and let's get into these pennies. Okay, everybody, here are the rolls. And as you can see right here, these are wheat pennies. And they're the ones that you fold, so I don't have to check to see how tight they are or anything like that, like you normally do. But these are the ones that were in the yellow packages, the two of them. I'm going to go ahead and do one roll at a time, let you know what I find in each roll. And I'm going to stack them up as I go. And, well, I'll be back with the first roll. Okay, good. Okay, buddy, just open up the first roll and take a look at these here. We have steels all over the place here, it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and set up the uh, microscope, and let's take a better look at them. Okay, I haven't opened up the uh, microscope yet, but you can see we do have four steel wheat pennies and a couple of uh, BUs right there. So we're going to take a look at these under the scope. Okay, I'm not going to bother showing each one of the steel pennies. I just wanted to show one real quick, and if I find one with mint mark, I'll show you. Be right back. Well, both of the BU uh, scents are both the same year, so I'm only going to show you the one. And both do have at least a partial fingerprint on there, but they are in overall great condition. Okay, let's get into the other 44 and see what we got. Okay, everybody, what you're looking at is the results from the first roll. And I'm um, just going to briefly tell you over here is the teens. These are the 20s. These are the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Yes, you heard that right. Teens, 20s, 30s. 40s and 50s. I'm pretty sure that when I get through tallying all these up, there's going to be more teens, 20s, and 30s than there are 40s and 50s. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I hope um, nobody misjudged my lack of excitement for what um, is here because this is absolutely quite amazing. I'm going to go through these real quickly here. 1913, Philly. 219, 16, Phillies. 17, 18. 219, 19, Phillies. Then we come over here to the 20s. We have two 25s, four 27s, a 28, and a 29. The 30s, 34, we start off with three 34s, two 35s, two 36s, 37, 38, and three 39s. 
Move over to the 40s. We have 342s, 443s, 44, 45, 46. In the 50s. 51D, we have two. 53, we have two Denvers and one Philly. 55, we got one. On the 56s, we had three Denvers and one Philly. 57s was a Philly and Denver, and a 58 was a Denver. Absolutely amazing roll. Kevin, this is how your rolls normally are. I would tell everybody to just snatch up whatever you're selling because these are great rolls. Let's get into roll two. Okay, everybody. On this first roll that is right here, a couple things I wanted to add. One, there was 50 pennies in there. A lot of these pennies are actually in really good condition. I would say they're um, very fine to possibly extremely fine. Um, and on, I had mentioned there might be you know more pre-40s than there are 40s and 50s, and actually there was. Those 27 pre-40s, means teens, 20s, and 30s, 27 of them, and 23 from 1940 to 1958. That is pretty dang good. That is by far the best roll I have ever opened. Let's get into the next three. Okay, just dumped out roll three, and as you can see right here, there's a couple steelies. There's a couple steelies. There's another one. There's another one, and I think this might be one as well. So we're looking at, what is that, six, seven more steel? Oh, hold on, one more, eight. Eight steel pennies right there. Let's get into it. Oh, okay, everybody, if you were impressed with roll one, you're going to be even more impressed with roll two. Let's look at these numbers. Okay, I'm trying to show you the whole page here so you can see everything that we have here. Here is another 1913. Those three 1918s, three 1919s, followed by three 1920s and 23. Over here was a 26D and three 26s. 227s, 229s. Then getting into the 30s right here, we have 334s, 335, 36, 37, 38, 39, a 42D. On the 43s, we had five Phillies, one Denver, one San Francisco. We got the whole set of these, which is awesome. Then we get down to the 44s, we had a Denver. And the 45s, we had a San Francisco. Over into the 50s, we had three of those. Two were Denvers, one was a Philly. And then we had a 51 Denver and a 52 Denver. Down here, there were three 56s, two Denvers, one Philly. Then two 57s and a 58 Denver to end it. Roll 2, like I said, was even better than roll 1 as it was 28 pre-40s and 22 between the 40s and 50s and just a ton of stale sense. Great roll. Anybody would be happy with that. Let's take a look at the next. Okay, but I'm holding the camera here. Um, yeah, just absolutely ridiculous. This roll is absolutely ridiculous. Never. And now I said the first roll is the best, and I said the second roll is the best. Well, this one's even better than those two. There are thirty pre-1940 coins in here. Thirty. Never have I ever seen anything close to that. A stack of steel cents over there. I was about four or five uh, mint marks, both 40s and 50s. Um, all the teens, 20s, and 30s were Phillies. I'm not going to read off each date. I think that would make this video way, way too long. We're going to get into roll four and see how these first four rolls really stack up. So far, they're amazing. I don't think roll four could be any better, but let's find out. Okay, everybody, I open up roll four, and as you can see, I started stacking up the steel cents. I still got one right there, and uh, I just put one under the scope. So I want to see if there was any mint marks. Let me show you what I just found. Okay, now I know my hand's going to be moving around a bit, um, but as you can see, this is a steel scent. Looks like one to me. It's really worn, so on and so forth. And then this happened. Hopefully you can see that date right there. 1944. And this thing looks like a freaking steel scent. Um, I mean, everything about it looks like a steel scent. It doesn't look painted. I don't see any brown on it. I don't see any copper coming through. I am looking at this thing for at least 20 minutes already. I think, I'm not sure, I'm going to ask, you know, maybe the weight difference, whatever. Please chime in on this, guys. I Right now, I think I might have a 1944 steel scent. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I'll be back. 
Okay, buddy, there's one true way to find out if this is steel or not. Here is a 43, right over here. Got a magnet. Six to it. We can tell that. Copper. Doesn't stick to it. Let's see if it's going to stick to this magnet. If this does, oh my goodness. It does not. How unfortunate. Got my heart racing. I'm telling you, it got me. Oh well. Maybe next time. Still, this is an awesome roll. Be right back with the next. Oh, okay, everybody, here is roll four. And, um, yeah, besides the 44 scare, an absolute awesome roll once again. Not as great as the other ones, but still really awesome. Those 25 pre-40s, and of course 25 post-40s, two of the pre-40s had mint marks. So it was a 17 and a 29, both Denvers. Uh, the 29 Denver, uh, semi-key date, I would say, at 44 million. Not bad. Good find. Uh, over here is the second 1911 that I have found. And, of course, there's been a stacks of, I don't know how many, teens, 20s, and 30s so far. But this is the fourth roll out of that first package. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and put everything together out of the first four rolls and give you a final tally from the first package. Be right back. Okay, buddy, there you have it. Four rolls that were given to me by Kevin Speaks just to prove that not all eBay we penny sellers are bad dealers. This is just half of it. This is absolutely unbelievable. This actually back here, somehow I missed it. There's three 1912s right there. And when I took a second look at them, there was three 1912s. There's 11, 12, and 13. You don't normally find those. Look at the 16, 17, 18, 19s, and 20s. Unbelievable. The 20s, the 23s, tons of 20s, tons of 30s. I believe there's almost 50% are pre 1940s. Absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely. Well, what we're going to do now is dive into this package here, and I'm just going to give you a wrap-up of that instead of giving you a breakdown roll-by-roll. Roll. Let's get into it. Okay, but I just wanted to show you the rolls real quickly. And as you can see, they're again, they're the folded types. Uh, when I looked at the ends, that's a really nice-looking steel scent. Look at that. Absolute beaut there. Um, we have, of course, the usual ends. Uh, this one here, I believe, was a 1920, and the other one over here is a 1939. I'm going to crack these open, sort them all out, let you know what we got. Be back in just a second. Okay, everybody said I was just going to give you a wrap up on this, but I have to point something out. It's a negative, it's a negative, it's a negative. Not a big one, but I just did find, look at that, it's got a memorial on it. 2006 Philly, uh-oh, let's see what we're getting into. Okay, not doing a wrap up of... Uh, row by row or anything like that but we did find two memorials the other one was 1960 Denver however take a look at this here this one up here at 1931 less than 20 million minted haven't totaled these up yet let's see how many we got in this roll okay on package two roll one there was 47 pennies two of memorials but still I still can't even complain about this. Absolutely amazing. Did get another 1956 Denver in brilliant uncirculated condition, which is great. Still happy? Let's dig it through the rest of these and see what we got. Okay, but here is the final four rolls of um, the eight rolls that Kevin Speaks sent to me. And all I'm doing is giving you a wrap-up on this real quickly here. Um, lots of great coins in here. As you can see, the top left is a 1911. There's 13s, there's 15, 16s. 17, 18s, and 19s. The 20s, we have a 20, a 24, 26, 27, 18, 29s. Lots in the 30s. 40s, not so much, and a ton in the 50s. But I'm just going to break this down real quickly. There was a total of uh, well, 200 pennies. 113 were pre-40s. Again, over 50% were pre-40s, which is just amazing. Uh, 47 of them didn't have mint marks. The earliest of the mint marks was a 1919S. Um, on the steel pennies, there was actually the uh, PD and S. On quite a few of these, actually, there was all three. Uh, 35s had that and a couple other ones. Um, just an absolutely, utterly impressive. Utterly impressive. Um, and again, he did this just for one reason. To show that not all eBay wheat penny sellers get bad deals. In my opinion, definitely. If you see him selling and you're interested in buying, go out and buy from Kevin Speaks. The link for his eBay page will be down below. That's all I got for this hunt. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. I mean, this is absolutely just amazing. And uh, Kevin, if you're watching this, thank you once again, and uh, I will be definitely looking at your sales. Until next time, happy hunting.